now we're looking at a question type which involves finding the distance between letters so in this uh, in this case there will be a word that will be given uh, and then you have to find out how many letters are how many pairs of letters are present such that they have as many letters between them in the word as in the english alphabet so it sounds a bit confusing for someone who's hearing it for the first time but probably as you get used to it to understand exactly what you have to do so if, if there is say a and b in that word and uh, they are present adjacent to each other in the alphabet as well they are present adjacent to each other so you will see that there is one pair something like that so uh, there are a couple of ways in which you can proceed while you are doing these questions uh, it depends on you which kind of method um, you are more likely to use or which one will save you a lot of time you can use both these methods in a few cases you can form words on your own you can simply take words which we use daily like uh, say video or even learning groups for that matter or arithmetic geometry progressions whatever anything you do you can take a word you can figure out how many letters are present in that word which have as many letters between them in the word as in the english alphabet and then probably you can get better at it using either of these two methods which i am going to show you so let's see a question and then i will uh, tell you how to solve the question using this couple of methods so the question states that how many pairs of letters are there in the word arithmetic each of which has as many letters between them in the word as in the english alphabet so there should be a pair of letters and they should have as many letters between them as is there in the english alphabet so if a and e is present in that word then in the english alphabet you have b c and d in between a and e so three letters should be present in that word as well something on those lines so the first thing to do uh, when you encounter such a question is to write down that word uh, word again in a legible manner so if arithmetic is present i will simply write a r i t h m e t i c arithmetic okay so arithmetic will be written here and again you have to be very careful when you are writing this word again because sometimes intentionally they might introduce some spelling mistakes in that word Uh, to uh, to whatever superimpose your common beliefs, so uh, th those kind of things have, uh, might be present in that word. So it's very important for you to see that word carefully and note down that word again in your rough sheet. So arithmetic, I've written again. Now I will start from the left and go towards the right, and I will go according. Uh, I will go according to the alphabetical order. So uh, if A is here, then I will start from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So A, I. i am saying the word i which is in the alphabet and this i is coinciding with it so i will write a i here okay uh, h i and j doesn't match so from a only i is possible r s t yes it's possible so r t i will write here t u v w x y z not possible and you have to be very careful here because you will be going towards the left as well so r a again not possible because r s will come here a should not come And R S will come here. R A should not come. So again, uh, towards the left, there is nothing. If I start from I, J K L M N O P, nothing is here. I J K, nothing is here. If I start from T, U V W X Y Z, nothing is here. T U V W, nothing is here. H I J K L, nothing is here. H I J K L M, nothing is here. M N O P Q nothing is there. N O P Q R nothing is there. E F G H nothing is here. E F G H I E I is there. So I will write I E because from left to right. So I E is here. G I J K nothing is here. T U V nothing is here. T U V W X Y Z nothing is here. I J nothing. I J K L M N O P Q nothing is here and C D E F G H so H C is again here H I J K L nothing is here so you have four pairs of words and so that will be your answer four so if you are really good at solving the question without solving for the intermediate steps so this method is for you if you can visualize what word will come after what word and if you can recite the English alphabet as it is then this is probably something that will definitely help you. and this is the method that you should be using but if you are not really good at visualizing stuff and you always prefer to write something on a piece of paper and then proceed in the in a mechanical manner then probably uh, you can use this method as well uh, so again i will uh, write down this uh, word so a r i t h m e t i c okay arithmetic i have written 
now the only thing that you will need to know in this uh, in this method is to understand the position of the letters of the alphabet so if a is denoted by 1 b is denoted by 2 c is denoted by 3 and so on till z which is denoted by 26 then you have to write down all the positions of these letters about the about the original letters and you have to remember certain clues here so it's a it's a very good idea to remember uh, the positions of few of the alphabets so j is 10 um, t is 20 and Z is 26, A is 1. For those of you who play chess, H will be 8. It's very easy to remember that way. And M and N you have to remember because those they, these are the midpoints. So M is 13, N is 14, and of course O is 15. So you can remember the positions of the letters of the alphabet in that manner. And again, you have to simply write down the positions of the alphabet above the individual letter. So A is 1, again R, O is 15, EQR that is 18. I is nothing but 9, T is nothing but 20, H is nothing but 8, M is 13, E is 5, T is again 20, I is 9, C is 3. So you have to be very well versed with the positions of the letters of the alphabet and then you have to remember this magical number 27. So you have to remember 27 and that is important because A is the first alphabet starting from the left end. If you start from Z and you proceed in the reverse order, uh, then again Z, Y, X, W and so on, then you will figure out that A will lie the 26th position. So any letter in the alphabet, if you measure it from one of the ends and if you measure it from the other of other end as well, and you add the positions of the of this of the same letter, uh, then you will figure out that the sum that the addition is always 27. The sum always comes out to be 27. So you will simply write the positions of these letters again starting from Z. So again these two should add up to 27. So it's very easy. One. So this will be 26. If 18 is there, then 9. If 9 is there, then 18. 20 then 7, 8 then 19, 13 then 14, 5 is 22, 20 is 7, 9 is again 18 and 3 is 24. So this is very easy because you know 27, you know the position. So this, this will not take uh, more than uh, around 10 seconds say for example. Now when you are doing it in test, 10-15 seconds should be enough for you to write the word, write the positions and write uh, the deviations from 27. right? So this is something which we, which we can see. Now the, the important thing in this method is that you need not go from right to left. So in the first method that you saw, you had to be aware of counting letters from both left to right and right to left. So in this case, that is not really required. You can start from left. You can skip out all these things, all these all the letters which are less than that because it will not increase. And then probably you can figure out what all pairs are possible. So once you do this, it's simple counting. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1, 9 is present, uh, which is AI. 10 is not here, 18, 19, 20, RT is there, 18, uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, nothing is there which is greater than 20, uh, 9 is present, 10, 11, uh, sorry, 9 is present, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, nothing is there, uh, if 20 is present, 21, 22, nothing is about 20, 8, 9, 10, 11, there is nothing which is greater than 11 here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, nothing is there, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, nothing is greater than 20, 9, not greater than 9. So we have only two combinations possible if we go using this method. 26, nothing is greater than 26. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Nothing is there. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 18, 22 is there, which is nothing but I. 23, 24, 25, nothing is there. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, nothing. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 19, 24 is there. So HC. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, nothing, 22, 23, 24, 25, nothing, 7, nothing, 18, nothing, so we are done. So, the total comes out to be 4. So, using this method as well, if you are if you are really quick at writing down numbers and probably if you are very good at counting, then this method will be useful for you. Uh, if you are very good at abstract thinking or probably not th thinking without data or skipping intermediate steps, uh, steps. If, if that thing comes naturally to you, then probably the first method is uh, useful in, in that case. So anyway, you will get the same answer. So the answer is 4 here. So let's see another question which says, find the two letters in the word taste which have as many letters between them as in the English alphabet. So this is an easier question because you can simply look at the options and you can figure out which one which one is the best one. So even, after, even, even by simply looking at the options, you can say ST is the answer because ST is adjacent and even in that word it is adjacent. So that is how you can work work out uh, the answer but again if you want to simply test uh, whatever we have done here so you can see it in this manner as well taste is present so t 
U V W X nothing A B C D nothing A B nothing S T yes S T is one pair S T U S T U nothing T U nothing greater than T E F G H I nothing so only S T is the correct option and so that is our answer so the more you practice the better you get at it and the better you get at it the the more time you will save because almost everybody will get the get uh, the correct answer to this question it is not really a very difficult question it, it does not really require lots of preparation to solve this question someone who has a good fair understanding of how the alphabet goes can solve this question and which will be more than 90% of the total people who are taking this test so it will not be a deal breaker as such but if you make a silly mistake if you forget to count from right to left in the first case or forget some forget a position of a uh, letter then you might end up in big trouble but then again these are easy marks and easy pickings for most of the aspirants so you should be able to solve these questions using either of these two methods uh, keep looking for other videos as well thank you